Investors can't be trusted at their word. It's a bold statement to make and I can almost hear the aggressive keyboard taps of the investors in my network posting an angry comment as I speak. But hear me out. In a recent survey of founders by Christoph Jans, a VC at Point9, he found that almost half of founders had an investor make them believe they had a deal, but they never ended up signing a term sheet. This isn't because investors are evil and get their kicks from deliberately building up the hopes of founders only to go and destroy their dreams. But it's another example of the poor communication between investors and entrepreneurs. The trouble is investors are relationship builders and pitching for investment is nothing like Dragon's Den. You're unlikely to meet an investor who's as blunt as Deb Ramiden or Peter Jones. They don't tend to insult your idea or your intelligence and they don't tend to shut things down too early. Even if you're not right for them now, they like to keep the relationship sweet in case you're someone they can invest in in the future. The truth is investors will say things like, this is interesting, it fits into my investment strategy or even I could see myself investing in something like this. Founders confuse these statements with a commitment and as a result, they take their foot off the fundraising gas thinking they've bagged themselves a deal. That's why I advocate that founders have an expression of interest form as part of their suite of pitch assets. This simple form turns a verbal commitment from an investor into a written one. A psychological switch is flicked when you ask an investor to put something in writing. Even though it's not a legally binding document, you find out what the investor is really thinking when you ask them to commit pen to paper. The expression of interest becomes a vital step between the verbal commitment and the heads of terms, and it ensures everyone is on the same page. Until you get written commitments, you can't be sure you have a yes. So until that point, you should assume it's a no. The goal of seeking investment is to collect enough expressions of interest so that you can afford investors to drop out. I'd always recommend you keep talking and pitching to investors until you have at least 150% of your round committed. When you do this, the best case is that you'll be overfunded and if you like, can get picky about the investors you bring into your business.